to use the scratch pad. I press F10 on my keyboard. Yeah, then that additional layer appears. That additional. Welcome back to my channel. I have just released the video about how to add a Microsoft Copilot-like integration of ChatGPT into a Linux desktop or window manager. By clicking a custom button on a polybar menu bar or by pressing, in my case, F10, my custom key command on my keyboard, ChatGPT opens right next to my open application and I can immediately send my prompt and get support from ChatGPT. But there is also another nice solution to integrate ChatGPT into your window manager. You can use so-called scratch pads. In context of a Linux window manager, a scratch pad is a feature of functionality that allows you to temporarily store and access a window or application. It is often used for quick access to frequently used applications or for holding windows that you want to keep readily available but out of the way. The purpose of the scratch pad is to provide a convenient way to access certain windows without cluttering the main workspace or interrupting your workflow. I think that's important. It's a flexible and customizable feature that you can use for variety of uh, purposes, such as note taking, click a button, a window pops up where you can take note, bring it back to the background, bring it back to the foreground, continue note taking, calculator, always important, yeah, different applications, terminal emulators that you're running, or other frequently used tools or utilities. And in my case, it's ChatGPT. Yeah, ChatGPT is really part of my daily workflow and I benefit a lot from that features. Let me give you a live demonstration. Yeah, and you see here Outlook and I want to create an email invitation for an upcoming webinar about search engine optimization. And I don't want to write that email word by word. I want to use ChatGPT to get the first draft of the email. You've seen that in the last video that you can open ChatGPT next to Outlook with that custom button here on top of my polybar. This is one solution. But another nice way is to use the scratch pad. Yeah, so if I press F10 on my keyboard, yeah, then that additional layer appears, that additional window appears where ChatGPT uh, is included. And I can write here, I can start a new chat, for example, write an email invitation for an upcoming webinar about SEO. And now ChatGPT starts working and will create that content for the email for me. The nice thing in Scratch it is that if I press again F10, the window disappears. And when I click F10 again, ChatGPT pops up again. And you have seen the process of writing that email continues in the back end, in the background of my outlook. Let's give ChatGPT some more seconds to complete the email. And here it is. I can scroll up, click on copy, press F10 again to hide my ChatGPT scratch pad, click on new email and paste the content in. And I have a great starting point for my email invitation with a lot of placeholders that I can fill with my custom data and custom information. Let me show you how I have integrated that scratch pad into my Qtile window manager. To do this, I open the um, Qtile config file, config.py. And the first thing what you have to do is to load some libraries, import scratchpad 
and drop down into your Qtile config. And then you can append the groups, the standard groups of Qtile. In, in my case, one, two, three, four, five are the names of the groups here. You see it here on top. These are my desktops. You can append these lists by an additional group called Scratchpad. I name it six and I define a dropdown, which is the Scratchpad. Give it a name, ChatGPT, and I start Chromium in the application mode with the URL chat.openai.com. Here are some position information where this layer should appear, plus the width and the height. And here, with the command key.extend, I extend the list of key commands with the command F10 to toggle that drop down that scratch pad named ChatGPT. Yeah, means I click F10 and ChatGPT pops up. F10 again, this is the toggle and the uh, scratch pad disappears again. I'm using Polybar as my main menu bar in Qtile. And you see that this additional group six appears here in the list, but there is this is a kind of a placeholder yeah, for my for this scratch pad. This is unfortunately a, a side effect of Polybar that this additional groups appears as a placeholder for my scratch pad. But this is not the case when you are using the standard Qtile menu bar. Let's activate this by command the polybar variable here. Save the config, reload. And you see here on top that the standard polybar loads without that additional uh, group or desktop named with the number six. This is then auto automatically hidden by these libraries, Scratchpad and Dropdown. Um, yeah, and that's it for this video. It shows again how flexible you can implement and you can create your own personal desktop environment with Linux and window managers. Scratchpads are available and many more window managers. They are following the same concept. And for me, it's super helpful. It's integrated in my workflow. I can benefit from ChatGPT in many of my um, to-dos and it saves a lot of time. And I only can encourage you to try it out. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I see you next time.